Hey what's up guys welcome back to another video this one is all about taking a look at what kind of growth I get out of my Acropora frags. This is not going to be any colony growth shots because by the time they become a colony number one I usually end up fragging them because I do sell frags on the website but the other reason is because I take most of my pictures with a macro lens and when they become colony size for the lens that I have they just don't fit within that uh, field of view basically. So uh, what I did was I assembled all the pictures that I had and I put dates on them and I made them onto this little slideshow slash video and I have my computer here in front of me you really can't see it but what's going to happen is I'm going to go over that video right now and talk about what kind of growth I've been getting. Alright guys here we go this first one is going to be Walt Disney I know it seems like it's going fast but there's going to be a little summary summary pages where I'll pause and talk about them So you can see the dates there, that's the most recent pick. So this is pretty much the entire duration of I've had this frag, at least when it came out of quarantine. I've had it for about a year now, and it grew that much. So there's another shot here. Yeah, so in two months, this thing pretty much grew from this to this, which is pretty good. You know, obviously these branches got taller, and these got longer, these little nubs down here. and. Um, so it's pretty good growth, I would say. I don't know. You, let me know what you think about it. Overall, I think that people have pretty good growth with their Walt Disney. I don't know. You let me know. But that's at least what it seems to me. All right. So this one is Cherry Coral's Hellboy. There are only a couple pictures. I got this one recently. That's the latest picture. In two months, it did that. Pretty much just encrusted. There is a new nub here. Some of these are growing a little bit. I personally think, well, it's, I think it's, I feel like it's growing slow, but the thing is that I think I don't have it in a good spot. I might have to move it a little lower because I think it's a Caroliniana, and um, the Carolinianas that I have, they tend to grow better lower in that tank, but it is what it is. This one is Paletta Pink Tip, and what I'm trying to show you here in this picture is that this picture is from October 18, 2018, but I obtained this frag, just the frag, you know, obviously without the encrusting part, in April of that year. So I'll let it run and stop at the uh, summary pages again. Now it's under halides. That's just a blue pick of it. So that's the most recent size. And it's the same thing, just a different view. So. While it was in my uh, 120 under T5s and LEDs, it grew from this to this in five and a half months, which isn't great at all. I mean, it's definitely growing. And total from this frag here in the center to this was about a year. That's what I'm trying to tell you there. So in halides in four months, it went from this to this, which is pretty good. I thought it was growing faster, but I still can't complain, I guess. But I think the biggest difference I've seen is in the last two months, it's starting to grow up a lot, grow a lot faster. Like this part here is growing faster. All these nubs here on the base, they're all new and those came out in the last two months. They weren't here basically. So starting to pick up, I thought the growth was faster, but um, I think a lot of people have pretty good growth from their Paletta pink tip. And so I guess I'm a little disappointed with this one, but nevertheless, it is what it is. It's growing. I can't complain about that. This one is Tyree Blue Matrix. Just a couple of picks because it's pretty new. But in three months, pretty much just encrusting. I know it looks fatter, but it's really about the same thickness. Just encrusting. So pretty uneventful. This one is Vivid Pink Passion. This is when I first got it. 2018, July 26. March 2019 just encrusted pretty much put it under halides at this point started to grow nubs in July and that nub turned into this pretty much and that's just a blue pick of the same thing so it took seven months in my you know in the 120 for it to go from a frag to just all this encrusting which is slow <laughs> and then I put in the halides six months it turned from this to this which is decent if you look at it I mean it's okay if you look at it in the hole but again in the last two months it went from this little nub out here to this big old thing so 
Most of the growth I'm seeing in this piece has come out in the last two months. This one is Battle Coral Skinny Love. Really isn't growing much. I got it recently. It's only been two months, but pretty much it's just basing out more. Some of this is a little bit bigger than before, but it is a different view. For the most part, it's just encrusting, so it is what it is again. I'm going to try to stop saying that, by the way. This is Vivid Confetti, and what I'm trying to show you here is that I bought this tiny stick, skinny stick right here on October 31st, 2018, and it took that long. It, it looked like this in June 18th, 2019. Moved it over to Halides, and that's what it looks like now. That's just a blue picture of it. So seven and a half months in my 120, it went from a single stick here to this, which is not bad. And then in two months under Halides, it blew up to that. So, and 11 months total, single stick to the what I have now. That's pretty good. Um, I think in general people have pretty good growth with their Vivid Confetti, so it seems like good growth, but it's probably average, just being honest. This one is TGC Cherry Bomb. A couple of picks of this one, not too many because I got it recently. But that first pick that you saw, that really bad pick, was when it was in quarantine, so not optimal conditions in that tank that's just a blue pick of what it looks like today so five and a half months from here to here the only thing with this is that it spent two months in quarantine so this is this right here probably represents three and a half months and it probably doesn't seem like a lot to you and i would agree with that but when i look at this thing now these things are probably bigger than they were a week ago so I, I just feel like it's starting to blow up. So um, I'm, I'm pretty happy with how this thing is going, even though it seems like it's taken a while to get going. I have, I think it's going to do well in the future play. So this is RMF Red Devil Nasuta. I only have a couple of pictures of it. One and a half months, it went from this to this. But, you know, the first picture I've had of it, um, it's already basing out and growing new stuff. So it's kind of unfair. But one and a half months for something that has got has already started growing this much. I mean, that's pretty good. I can't complain. It's a good grower. This one is Fox Flame. That horrible picture that you just saw was pulled off of a screenshot from um, one of my unboxing videos back in 2018. Let's see if I can get back to it. This one here. So that's April 10, 2018. So, yeah, that took a long time. July 30th, 2019, to get to this. I'll talk about that more in a second here on the summary page. That's what it looks like today. And these new, next couple shots are the same thing, just different viewpoints. So definitely growing now. So, yeah, it took 15 months. But the reason, the main reason it took so long for it to grow is because I just didn't really have the real estate for it. This is when I didn't have the propagation tank set up, so... It just didn't have a good spot in the T5 LED tank. So, okay, yeah. So in two months, it's really starting to blow up just like a lot of the other corals. It's under halides now, by the way. Halides and LEDs, hybrid. Um, but there's all this other growth here in the background that's not really in focus. But it, it's really starting to blow up in the last two months. So that's awesome. This one is Z's Pink Cotton Candy. It's a tenuous. It's pretty much a pink tenuous um i don't know if you know watch guy one two three on reef to reef he, he had a nice tank and this is just one of his pieces but pretty happy with the growth of this one i just got it oops that was mislabeled anyway it's a 2018 for this is actually 2019 um <clears throat> in two months it's put out a couple of these nubs one of these nubs was here i want to say maybe this one was there but I'm really happy in less than two months it's already putting out two nubs. That's pretty good growth. All right, so this one is Original Wet Thumbs Tierra del Fuego. This is a pick from the dude's tank that who I bought it from. That's 2018, April. And so this is another one of those frags that didn't get enough love in the T5 tank because I didn't have room. So my next picture of it is under Halides, June 18, 2019. 
And that's what it looks like today. So in 3.3 months, that was the growth. I honestly expected this to be growing faster, but I can't complain. It is growing and it's a nice coral. I'm just happy that I finally got it to grow basically, but yeah. This one is Battle Coral Frankenberry. I know that's a horrible pick, sorry. Just have a couple of picks of this one. But in about th a little over three months, it's growing out all these nubs everywhere. This is also in the halide slash LED tank, but this one is more under my DIY LED fixture. It is getting stray halide light though, but I can't complain with this growth. It looks like it's going to start blowing up. This one is Worldwide Corals. You know, I'm supposed to do this, sorry. Uh, this one is Worldwide Corals um, Heartbreaker. That's what it looks like today. That's just a close-up of the main part of it. So in six months, it went from this to this. And the thing about this, too, is that I cut off some frags off this thing. I probably cut a total of five frags off this thing. But regardless, it's getting good growth. Um, I think, in general, people have pretty good growth with, a, with this particular piece. So probably average. This is um, Superman Tenuous. These are blue picks. But look at this growth. I'm going to pause here. 2.2 months, it went from this to that, which is crazy good. Probably the best growing piece that I have, you know, lately. Um, yeah, I just can't complain about that. This is, uh, this is a Pearlberry variant. I can't verify this as an ORA Pearlberry, but you'll see that it's very Pearlberry-ish. So that's what that little nub looks like now. So this piece right here is pretty much this nub right here. There's also a couple nubs growing out from the base, but it's, I would say that's below average growth. 4.3 months for something that should be like going, that should be growing well, or should, I don't know. That just doesn't seem fast to me at all is what I'm saying, but whatever. All right, this is the last one. This is Jason Fox Homewrecker. I've only had this a short while, three, three and a half months maybe. And the summary screen is right. So yeah, yeah, three and a half months it went from that to that. Over doubled in size, the original frag is like down here somewhere. So most of this is new growth. I mean, that's all new growth obviously. And then um, it's actually starting to base out a little bit more. I, it's probably doing, I'm just guessing, but I think it's starting to base out recently because it's getting tall and it wasn't really basing out much in the beginning. But overall, I'm pretty happy with the uh, growth of my Jason Fox home wrecker. And it definitely started to, uh, the pinks start to come out more. Um, as you know, the longer that I have, the pinks are starting to show more. So, well, that's it as far as growth shots, guys. Well, Alright guys, so that's pretty much the growth that I've had with some of my recent acquisitions. I do want to make three quick points before I end the video. Number one is for those folks who are new to keeping Acropora. The main reason that I showed the, some of the slow growers is because I wanted to make sure that your expectations are reasonable. I think there's a tendency for people who are new to Acropora to start changing stuff right away if things aren't going really well. Um, you really just have to keep things stable as long as the colors are good and the polyps are out. It's probably going to be encrusting if it's, you know, halfway happy. And it, it will start blowing up. Don't start changing stuff all crazy in one or two months just because it hasn't turned into a colony from a frag. You really just have to be patient. And my point is that just, just keep your expectations reasonable. Um, in general, though, I would say my growth is very average, maybe even below average. So, you know, if you're getting something along the lines of what I get, um, of course, there's room to improve, but at the same time, don't go making drastic changes. All right, so that's enough about that. The second point that I want to make is that my video sort of made T5s look bad in terms of growth because there was like a handful of frags that didn't do a lot under T5s, but I just want to make sure that y'all know that most of that is because they weren't in prime real estate position. Like I didn't have the propagation tank set up. So I had all these new frags crammed into a tank that was already crowded to begin with. So um, T5s aren't as horrible as I showed in this video. 
Um, but the third point that I do want to make is um, a lot of the shots that I showed, like like two months, the last two months, with them blowing up in growth under halides. I mean, there is some truth to that. Halides definitely grow Acropora better than T5s. And so um, that, that's my only point is that, yeah, there is truth to it, but T5s aren't as bad as this made this video made them out to be. Well, all right, guys, those are my thoughts on growth, and those are my growth shots. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Thank you for making it this far, as always. Until next time, boom, I'm out.